Can you put me in the intro, please? Hey Panda Landers, today I'm going to be showing you a speed build of a two-story house with two bedrooms, one bathroom, and pretty much all the other rooms. So let's get to it. First I'm starting with the exterior of the house with the driveway and the outline. Also I want to let you know that I built this house before the update so I didn't have any of the new objects so you can also personalize it by adding those in if you'd like. I also wanted a different type of garage so I made it kind of not like a garage but it is a garage you know all that stuff so literally it's an open garage that you can walk through to the other side that's pretty much it you'll see me continue building it right now finished with the outline of the house now it's time to go to the inside I set out where the stairs are going to be and most of the rooms over here will be an outdoor patio area Near the entrance will be the kitchen and that's what I created. I also got Zoe to help me color some things. Thank you so much to her. Because of needing a splash of color to this grayish modern looking house, I told Zoe to color in the mugs some pastel colors. Since I wanted the downstairs to be kind of open, I decided to put the living room and dining room pretty much with no walls, nothing blocking it, you just walk into wherever you want to go. Here, I'll start making the living room.
And now onto the second floor. Instead of just building the rooms as I go, I decided to make the outline for them because I wanted two bedrooms, a bathroom, and whatever else I could fit. Over here I'm going to be building a teen room which will be a single bed and you can also use it for a kids room and add in other decorations if you want to be role playing. For this bedroom, I also personally wanted a lot of lights, so I added in tons of windows to look out of, and of course, these lights are my favorite. Literally any bedroom I build, I want it in real life. That was a random comment, but nice to know, Panda. also got this wardrobe idea from Lashes build or her house and she allowed me to use it just told me to say where I got it so I got it from her house as you can see recently I've been like really enjoying adding in plants in my speed builds and incorporating it inside I don't know why I might have just like been like whoa plants look great in my builds so I guess that's why I'm putting them for all those people who's asking am I addicted to plants or something probably yeah Out here will be a patio area with plants, of course, because you know me, lots of plants, bamboo. Yeah, it's not really bamboo, but you know, okay. And I also like these combining picture frames, so I tried to put that in too with the workspace as a desk area. I also felt like this wall was really plain, so I added in like my own personal style bookshelf with like pretending the plants were like pillars or something. I don't even know, but it, in my opinion, it looked pretty awesome. I'd like to have this in my actual room. Now I'm moving into the double bed bedroom, tongue twister, and I'm just sticking with the theme of the house by adding in like brick walls of white and just those simple colors that I usually use.
Okay, in all honesty, I really like this idea. I don't know how I got it, but it looked actually like the clock was popping out of the wall. Over here, I also personalized like a desk area like I did for the other one and added in some plants and lots of those fairy lights that I love. I didn't really know what to do with these like empty spaces that just popped out so I added in some plants guessing that you could put anything else you wanted maybe even like clothes storage who knows And now it's time to do the bathroom. I really like how this bathtub turned out, so you're welcome to use this idea. Of course, it's in my video for a reason for you guys to rebuild it and create it your very own.
And now for this patio area outside of like the kid bedroom, teen bedroom, who knows. I thought like it was a little bit too open so I decided to add in like this brick fencing then close it up and put on some lights at the top so at night you could even sit there and just watch the moonlight if you'd like. Once again, for light purposes or brightness purposes, I added in these lights in the front of the house so it would light up at night. This wall was a bit plain and the only thing I could think of is why not do like a huge fireplace? So guess what? That's what I did! Uh, warning, plant crazy over here. We're just adding in, well, I'm adding in tons of plants just randomly all over this. I think I might use this in other builds, to be honest. I don't care if anyone says I use too many plants because I like how this turned out.
And now for the brick fencing, I felt like only the front having it would be kind of weird, so I added in to like enclose the house with it, and I changed it up sometimes because I didn't like how it turned out, but then finally it turned out great. This space was a little bit empty, so I decided to add in like a mini pool because who knows if you want to go late night swimming under the moon. And then I put in a patio area with also a showering station, you know how pools usually have that. Well, I felt like since that carpet was there, I just added it in. Um, did someone say plants? Cause, um, plants? I'm pretty sure I heard it. So I'm just adding in like a garden outline cause I felt like it looked plain, you know, just plain I add in stuff. So use more money and make it great. <laughs> just joking, you just add in, well I added in plants to make it more plantistic. That's kind of cringy, but you know, let's go with that plantistic, beautiful name. I also wanted like a different type of grass because what if you like maintain this grass and it looks better? So I just added it in around the spaces near the house and I finished off the garden or the outline of the garden. Then added in some trees for some shape and that's pretty much it. I also then felt we need some bushes because some walls were really plain and then <gasps> I'm like wow what if I put these bushes underneath these fences and wow my mind is blown at how i thought of this
some finishing touches before the tour. Video, click that subscribe button to be part of the Panda Wanda Habitat and click that bell to be notified of when I post. Could you be the first to comment? Panda Girl is out. Thanks for watching. Bye!